I'm going to try to show you how this Solar Pulsador lock works. It's a high security safe lock made in Barcelona, Spain. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing the names correctly. Uh, it works differently than what we're used to here in the United States uh, for safe locks. If you want to just see the basic operation, I'll start with that. Uh, there is a outer shaft right here that turns counterclockwise in seven different positions. There's a push button. In each of those seven positions, the combination can be zero to nine pushes. So that gives you a total of 10 million different possible combinations. When this teat and this teat are lined up right here, you're in position one. So you'll push it the amount of pushes that position one is set to. In this case, I have them all set to one push. So you'll push it once, and then you'll turn it counterclockwise to the second position. Push it the number of times that it's set to. Keep going counterclockwise each time pushing the number that the combination is set to at that position. Then once you've got the seventh one set, you're going to turn it back clockwise one. And that will unlock the safe. At that point, if you want to change the combination, you will insert the change key. You will turn it 90 degrees. You will reset the lock back to the original position and then do how many ever pushes you want for each position or no pushes and turn it back like you're locking it. Now you'll take your change key out and reset it and now it's set to whatever your new combination is. Now a little more in depth on how this all works. The push button shaft here goes on through the back of the lock. On the end of that shaft is a slant. It will raise this plate right here. That plate has two little arms that go through to this front sliding plate. I call this a selector assembly. Each time you push it, it raises this selector assembly one. Now the re reason I call it a selector assembly is because that's the outside shaft will select one of these seven levers here and move it in. And I'll show you on the seventh position here you can see that moves into here. Now inside here, there are seven uh, slides that ratchet up. They're spring-loaded down, but there's keepers down here that each time you raise it up, will keep it raised up to that position until that's pulled away. Now back on the back side here, I've made these acrylic pieces so you can see what's going on, but I didn't think an acrylic piece for this would hold up. So I've got one screw in it to be able to remove it so I can show you back here. Okay, we are in position one and the outer shaft turns that cam right there. There's a pawl right here and there's catches on this cam that keep you from turning clockwise looking at the safe for the first six clicks. Then on the seventh click there's nothing there to keep you from turning back to the sixth. Now when you when you go to re when you when you turn it on around or reset it to lock it back right here it pushes this down which raises this plate right here. 
So that raises that plate. Now when that plate is raised, right down in here, there's an arm that transfers that motion to pull this whole assembly that keeps those ratcheting parts from coming down away from them. So when it resets, that pulls back, allows all these to come back down, allows your wheels to turn back around to their starting position. And like I said, each time, each time you push that, it raises this. So the wheels here with the gates are getting lined up. Now they're all lined up with the lever right here. So when I turn it back, now that's going to allow, since these are all lined up, now it's going to allow this plate to go down. Now we're in the unlocked position, the bolt's down. The lever is in the gates. And the reason these gates are deep like that is because when you insert this change key and you turn it, it's going to pull this whole assembly away. Now the position of the wheels is independent of where these are. So if you reset the lock, they're all going to go back down to the zero position. Now with the change key in there, you're just raising these individual pieces right here without moving the wheels. So how many ever times you raise those, if you'll see right here, when the wheels go back, that's going to be the new combination. Oh, you have to turn it back to the unlocked position to take the key out. Now when you reset it, you'll see that these are all at the different locations, like I said. Another thing is there's a small plate down here that you'll see now with this not being down will not allow the change key to go in. Uh, another thing about this is that there's a hole right here. It's not in the newer ones. And nobody seems to really know uh, what this is for, but the wheels all have holes in them. And when the proper combination is set, all that lines up. So I'm thinking that is a peephole. So when you've got the safe door open and you, you can look and make sure, like I said, there's a metal covering that goes over this. This one's actually got a plastic cover that goes over it. Uh, but every one, every other one I've seen is metal, so you can see when you got the when you got the combination set right and the wheels are set right. And that is the Solar Pulsador lock. Uh, I do not see any way that this lock could be manipulated. Uh, you would have to drill a hole in the appropriate place and uh, line up your wheels is the, really the only way I see uh, that you could uh, uh, open this without having the combination.